Today we're going to talk about converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. Mixed numbers as a combination of whole numbers and fractions, and you've probably used them quite a bit if you've worked, ever worked in the kitchen with your family. For example, when you're baking, you've probably used mixed numbers and you probably used measuring cups to make them. You might have had to use one whole cup of flour plus a half a cup of flour. You might have had to put in one whole cup of flour and one fourth of a cup of flour. It, you, it's whenever you combine a whole number with a fraction, you get a mixed number. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you what the whole number and the fraction, the mixed number, would look like if it was a fraction greater than one, otherwise known as an improper fraction. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One way is by using what we know about whole numbers and fractions. We know that if a denominator is 4, then 2 whole is equal to 4 fourths. And I like to make a giant 1 around it to remind myself that that is actually the same as 1 whole plus 4 fourths. Again, that is equal to one whole. So four fourths plus four fourths is the same as two because one plus one is two. Then we're going to take this fraction here and bring it down and add it to these two fractions. Now remember when we have like denominators, otherwise known as common denominators, when we have like denominators, which means they're all the same, we bring it right over because that whatever we're working with is still broken up into four equal parts. Then we add our numerators, the addition of fractions, four plus four plus one. Four plus four is eight plus one more is nine. So we have nine fourths. One other way to do the same problem is we're going to take the same numbers, two and one fourth, and because I know when I broke my two, whole number two up into two fractions equal to one, I had two fours in my numerator. So I'm going to multiply four times two, and I'm going to know in my little thought bubble that that is equal to eight. And I like to put the multiplication sign down here so I remind myself that I'm multiplying four times two is eight. That's a kind of a fuzzy eight, but I'm just going to rewrite it. Then I'm going to add my numerator. So four times two is eight. Eight plus one is nine. So my new numerator, that's going to give me my new numerator of 9. The denominator is going to stay the same. Again, we're not changing the amount of the whole is broken up into. It's still broken up into four equal parts. So I'm going to, to change a mixed number into a fraction, a fraction greater than 1, or otherwise known as an improper fraction. You multiply your denominator 4 times your whole number, and you remember, 4 times 2 is 8. Then you add your numerator. And that will make that process a little bit quicker than writing out a long addition problem of fractions.